First off, make sure you understand that the area of a circle is equal to pi times the square of the radius. So let's take the radius that the problem gives us and plug this into the area equation. So pi, time, so this is the specified area for the given radius. So that is equal to 3.1 times 10 to the power of 4 centimeters. This is squared. If we put this into a calculator, then we find a specified area of the circle of 3.019 times 10 to the power of 9 squared centimeters. So this is the area of the circle, but the problem is also asking for an approximate uncertainty. So the problem doesn't actually tell us what the uncertainty of the circle is. So usually in cases like this, where we're not given the uncertainty, we can usually kind of predict or estimate that at the very least, the uncertainty is going to be plus or minus one unit at the lowest digit of precision. So in the case of this problem, since the lowest digit of precision is this 0.1, we can kind of assume that the uncertainty is going to be plus or minus 0 0.1 times 10 to the power of negative 4. So for the minimum possible area, we'll use the exact same area formula and almost the same radius, except instead of 3.1 times 10 to the power of 4, instead we'll use 3.0 because now we've lowered the radius by one unit. So this gives us an area of 2.827 times 10 to the power of 9 squared centimeters. And now we'll do the same thing for the max area, where we'll be adding 0.1. So instead it's 3.2 times 10 to the power of 4 squared centimeters. And this is 3.2 one seven times 10 to the power of nine squared centimeters. So the value we're gonna use for the area's uncertainty will take into account both the min and max values. So we'll kind of find an average sort of thing where we'll take the maximum area, subtract the minimum area, and then divide it by two. So we'll put in 3.217 times 10 to the power of 9 for a max, and 2.827 times 10 to the power of 9 for a min. And if we do that, we find an uncertainty of area of 0 0.195 times 10 to the power of 9 centimeters squared. Now because a lot of this is kind of just us estimating, we should probably round these down a bit. So we should take the uncertainty and round it down to just one significant figure. So that's kind of rounded as 0 0.2 times 10 to the power of 9 centimeters squared, which means we should round our specified area to the same degree. So 3.019, and so we'll just round that to 3.0. So that's 3.0 plus or minus 0 0.2 times 10 to the power of 9 squared centimeters. And so this is our area of the circle, including its uncertainty. And that is it for this problem. I hope this video helped you out. If it did, please consider subscribing, as that'll help me out in making more videos like this. And I hope you all have a lovely day. Bye-bye.